So hello and uh, welcome to, this isn't a review, this is just a bit of a, a new book out. Ellen Bones has uh, been doing these books for some time. They are produced by uh, Long Valley Books and um, yeah, I've, had a, I've got a full selection of these as you can see, I've got lots of them. I've talked about these in the past and I'm bound to talk about these in the future and I just wanted to uh, do a quick little short video um, as promised for Ellen um, as she sent me a new book. But before I do that, I'm going to put these to one side for a moment. Uh, we've been following the North Wales book. Uh, you can see the North Wales guidebook there. Um, and I've got my own picture in here. I have got my own picture in here on that page there. That one. How fantastic is that? Um, yeah, I've been following this for the last few days and uh, we've been to a couple of the locations that are in the book and these books are fantastic, but it's not about this North Wales book. Um, it's not about the Iceland book. Now, Eleanor brought this out um, last year. This is the North Wales guidebook, as you can see there. I'm just trying to get it to focus. Uh, it's not the North Wales guidebook, it's the Iceland book. I'm talking gibberish again. The Iceland book, uh, this was brought out last year and Ellen sent me this book over to have a look at and to show you guys, which I did. Um, but because of the um, because of what happened in 2020, um, this didn't take off and it hasn't been a very good seller. So I did promise I'd just mention it to everybody again. If you're going on a trip, if you're going over to Iceland, this is a fantastic book. It's got um, it's laid out slightly different to the others, but there's maps. Um, maps and guides all the way through the book. There's fantastic photographs and fantastic locations. You can see there's maps on the pages. You've then got pretty pictures on the pages. There's some spiel about where it is. There's um, information on food and drink if you need it, hiking distances, all sorts of stuff in the books. Uh, so there's maps to go with them as well. So if you are going for a trip to Iceland, this is well worth you picking up and uh, a price of £13.95, I don't think you can go far wrong. And the beauty with these is they're not very thick, they're quite a thin book, so they'll go in your hiking pack quite nicely. So I did, you know, I did want to mention that Iceland book, but this is what it's all about. This book here, can you see that? Uh, Norfolk, and, Norfolk Coast and the Broads. Now I've been to the Norfolk Broads, and why I'm talking, I'm gonna pop a couple of images up in the corner for you, uh, for when I went and, and done the Norfolk Broads. I went down and I did the Broads on a boat, which was different, it was interesting, and I quite enjoyed it in a funny sort of way, but it maybe wasn't for me, there wasn't enough photography, but we did get to see some windmills and stuff like that. Now in this book, it's like all of um, Ellen's other books and the Val Royal, uh, the, uh, the Long Valley collection, um, we start off with a full, a full map in the beginning. You can see that as a full map, and this runs around all the way to the coast. There's not a lot of photography going on in the middle there, um, but in the Norfolk coast, all the way around that coast. And I've done a little section of this, and I will pop up a couple of pictures. I've just done um, Hun Stanton, and I've done um, the old harbour, uh, which I think is number seven on this one. Um, you know me with names, I'm not very good with names. But yeah, this I'm actually going to plan on doing a trip this year and I'm going to follow this book almost to the T and I'm going to follow all the way around this coast and try and find some of these locations. So this book is going to be absolutely fantastic and I'll bring it up again there. And then in each section, you go to Coastal 1, you've got Coastal Part 1, it gives you a smaller map with the, the locations marked out on it, all numbered numerically. And as you go through, each page has got a number. Number 1 is Borsy, Borsy Ruins, but Bowsy Ruins, Bowsy Ruins, um, and you know me with names, number three, number four, and so on and so forth. You've got the zigzags down at Hunstanton Seafront, which I've just shown in a recent video. You've got the, the coloured cliffs, you know, so there's, there's an absolute um, array of photographs, an array of locations. Section three runs all the way down the side of the coast again there. Uh, section three, there's, there's a number of, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven different locations just running down in the blue section there. Absolutely fantastic. And for me, I love these books. There's lots of guidebooks out of it. I love these books because you get one page. 
So you get one small section of writing which really does sum up the location. Uh, you get the name, you also get directions, how to get from the car park and how to get there. Um, and then you've got essential information. You've got parking GPS coordinates, uh, you've got parking grid reference coordinates, you've also got the nearest postcode. So you've got all the information you want there. Now, for all these other books, and I did not know this till recently, but for all these other books, um, you can get, if you go online, if you go onto the website, and I'll put the link in the description below for you, but if you go onto the website, you've got GPS coordinates for all the locations in these books as well, which is, I didn't, I didn't know that, which is quite uh, interesting to know, but I've only found out recently with, with getting this book from Ellen. And again, I, there's not much more I can say about it. You know, you've got St Mary's Church, which looks amazing in this photograph i've never been there but it's somewhere i'd like to go so you've got number 38 so we look is number 38 go back to the front grid reference map you look down the map and find number 38 which is there we are 39 39 we are going to try and find 38 36 to 38 is there so it gives me an idea roughly where it is in the country it's over just past norwich on the way to on the way to great yarmouth and Storham, Storham. Um, so that's where it is if on the grid reference map. And then if you go to the local map at the beginning of the section, which I will find now for you, you go to the local map on the section, and then you've got that section there, just the yellow section, and you've got number 38 is right over there, which is very close to Witten Sea, Witten, Witteren on Sea. I'm sure you know that if you're local. So Witter and on C, you've got a good idea where it is, and then you've got a little bit of spill, some grid reference, postcodes, and a pretty picture. So that is definitely a place I'd like to go and visit because it just looks absolutely spooky and awesome. Um, lots and lots of images in here, all by different authors. All the authors are in the book as well. So you've got acknowledgements, you've got all the authors on the back, one of the back pages. Everybody's listed in there for all their photographs that are in the book. We've also got um, a full index at the back and we've also got a location summary. This is one thing I do like, this location summary. What it basically tells you, if you pick, say, pick something I can say and I can actually read, Thornham. If you go to Thornham, uh, type of location, boats, you've got uh, difficulty here, walk a two. You've got uh, time from car park, 10 minutes, and then you've got pho photographic interest. So this has got a four, which basically means there's lots of different things to photograph on that one location. If, for instance, I go to the one above it, which is Hunstanton Seafront, you've got seascapes, walk from car park, one, two minutes, and then you've got photographic interest, one. Now, I'd actually say there's more than one, to be honest, on Hunstanton, because I've actually been there, but along the seafront, you've got the zigzags, and you've also got the old ruin. Now, I don't know whether the old ruin of the boat, um, linked to the video, uh, is in this. If it's not, it should be, it definitely should be on that location. Um, and it's starting to rain. I was gonna do this video out in the hills, uh, but it's absolutely teeming down, so I can't. I'm actually parked at the moment looking over to Snowdonia, and it's fantastic. But yeah, I also all I wanted to do, these are 12 95 uh, There's no messing around with prices. All these books are 12 95 except for the Iceland one, which is 13 95 uh, Fantastic set of books. Brand new one just out. Uh, I spoke to Ellen. I've got an idea of the other book she's next working on, but I can't tell you because she's not 100% sure herself. But these are the ones I have. A lot of them I bought myself. One or two that I've been passed on, you know, passed on to from Helen, just so or Ellen, sorry, so that um, I can do a bit of review for you, um, which is ever so nice of her. It wasn't asked, and I really don't mind doing it. I do recommend you pick them up one at a time. Put them down on your birthday list. Put them down on your Christmas list. Put them down on your Easter list, and get the wife, the partner, the girlfriend, the boyfriend, the husband, whatever it is get them to treat you because these are definitely worth having. And like I say, the beauty with these is they're great for people like me that don't do a lot of reading. And they're great for people like me that want to shove something in their bag that doesn't already got a heavy bag to start with. So it goes in the bag, it's nice and easy to carry. So that's all I wanted to do. Quick mention on this book, quick mention on the Iceland book. And um, yeah, till next time, to a proper video, because these are only Friday short videos. Till next time, thanks for watching. Don't forget, check out some of the links up on the top there for other videos and uh, See you soon. Ciao for now. Bye.